Invest Dano Forum 2017, promoting investment opportunities. Ariana International Convention Center Dano, officially inaugurated. Tourism Investment Promotion Seminar opens in Dano. Revolutionary Songs Festival of Danang in 2017. Hello, welcome back to the RT News. On October the 15th, Danang hosted Invest Danang Forum 2017 in order to introduce the potential, advantages, development direction, investment opportunities and supporting policies that the city offers to investors and enterprises at home and abroad. At the opening speech, Mr. Chung Guang Ye, member of the Central Party Committee, Secretary of Danang Party Committee, emphasized that Danang has enormous potential and advantages for comprehensive development and is on the momentum of robust development. It is highly rated among business community, with seven times topping the Provincial Competitiveness Index. Dano is also proud to be selected for hosting the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017. Therefore, Invest Dano Forum 2017 is not only an opportunity to evaluate and promote the potential of Dano, but also the opportunity for delegates and experts to make proposals to the government and ministries on the development orientation of Dano in the future. At the forum, the city's leaders introduced key projects that the city is calling for investment and proposed that the government should formulate exclusive investment policies and mechanisms for Danang High Tech Park, the Central Vietnam Key Tourism Cluster, the development of Ing Chiu Port, etc. In the framework of the forum, Danang also held two parallel seminars on investment opportunities in tourism and infrastructure development sectors. At the plenary conference, a total of 27 projects equivalent to $35 trillion of investment capital were granted investment registration certificates certificates, investment policy decisions, investment research approvals, or loan agreements. Also on the occasion of the Invest Dano Forum 2017, on October the 15th morning, Prime Minister Nguyễn Xuân Phúc and Minister of Culture, Sports and Tourism Nguyễn Ngọc Thị, along with Dano City leaders, representatives of Servico Holdings and Firma Resorts Danang, attended the ribbon curtain ceremony to inaugurate the Ariana Convention Center Danang, one of the key constructions for the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017. Started in March 2016, the construction of Ariana International Convention Center Danang has been completed ahead of the set schedule and is valued for its high quality and aesthetic value. Covering a total area of 12,000 square meters and being designed with a grand ballroom accommodating up to 2,500 people. Being connected with the Furama Danang International Convention Palace, Ariana Convention Center becomes the largest convention and workshop complex in Vietnam, accommodating up to 5,000 people and 15 functional rooms. The Ariana International Convention Danang is ready for international level events, especially the APAC Economic Leaders Week, taking place in Danang in early November 2017. In the framework of the Invest Danang 2017 Forum, on October the 14th afternoon, Vice Chairman of the City People's Committee, Nguyễn Ngọc Tung, chaired an investment seminar in the field of infrastructure development. Attending the seminar were domestic and foreign investors. In recent years, Danang is one of the leading localities nationwide in terms of urban and transport infrastructure development. In order to further develop the infrastructure to promote the social economic development, Danang is calling for investment into nine potential projects, including such remarkable projects as the Priority Infrastructure Investment Project, the Sustainable City Development Project, funded by the World Bank, and the ODA funded Thin Support Project. At the conference, in addition to learning about the development orientation of the city and the Pacific projects, many investors also paid attention to the policies and incentives when participating in these projects to have an appropriate investment plan. 
Within the framework of the Invest Danang Forum 2017, on the afternoon of October the 14th, the Danang People's Committee and the City Department of Tourism held a Tourism Investment Promotion Seminar, attracting the participation of more than 150 tour operators, hotels, resorts, airlines, travel agencies and tourism service providers at home and abroad. Addressing the meeting, Vice Chairman of the Danang People's Committee, Hu Kimen, stressed that the city has many advantages and potential for tourism development, along with synchronous infrastructure system, favorable tourism environment, preferential policies, and special mechanism for investment attraction. Danang becomes a safe and friendly destination for tourists. However, Danang still lacks incentive policies to invest in and develop entertainment services, especially the night entertainment services, shopping malls, and food courts. The local tourism human resources have not met the current development needs. The National Office of Intellectual Properties Branch Office in Da Nang and the Da Nang Business Incubator recently held a workshop themed Importance of Intellectual Property for Startup Enterprises. This event attracted more than 100 attendees who were representatives of small and medium-sized enterprises and startups in the city. The special highlight of this event was an intensive consultation section between professionals and startup businesses who are struggling to establish intellectual property rights in the process of operating their business model. The program also provided information on support programs of the National Office of Intellectual Properties Branch Office in Da Nang for enterprises in the Central and Central Highlands region. Danang always leads the country in terms of the provincial's competitiveness index, but in recent years, Danang has not seen yet the impressive growth figures in the domestic and foreign investment attraction. Investment firms are mostly small and medium enterprises. Therefore, the city government has paid more attention to changing the way of attracting investment to get closer access to the potential investors. Currently, Danang is continuing to open three more industrial zones with a total area of 1,000 hectares and giving priority to attracting investment in the high-tech and environmental-friendly projects, attracting tourism investment, especially giving priority to creating new tourism products, will also be the key task of Danang City in the coming time. It's just two more months left to the end of 2017. To fulfill the SAD plan, many businesses in Da Nang have put forward solutions in investing in machinery, promoting production, improving product quality, as well as possibly searching for markets. According to the city's Department of Industry and Trade, in the first nine months of this year, the city's industrial production remained a relatively high growth over the same period of last year. Some key manufacturing sectors of Da Nang experienced good growth momentum. Following the directives of the city's leaders, the Department of Industry and Trade has collaborated with local agencies and authorities at all levels to continue implementing solutions in supporting businesses to boost their production and exports, contributing to helping them achieve many positive results. The Asia-Pacific Gulf Summit APGS 2017, the most prestigious and long-standing event in the Gulf industry of Asia-Pacific region, will be held in the central city of Vietnam, Da Nang. Taking new directions as its theme, the 11 APGS 2017 will run in three days, from the 14th to 16th of November. The main sponsor of this event is BRG Group, a leading multidisciplinary economic group and a pioneer in developing this elite sport in Vietnam. Chairman of BRG Group, Madam Nguyen Thị Nga, is also well known in the region for her passion and great contribution to the Vietnam's golf industry. Toward celebrating the 18th Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union Congress, the 11th National Youth Union Congress and the 61st anniversary of the traditional day of the Vietnam Youth Federation, the Da Nang Youth Union has held the Revolutionary Songs Festival of Da Nang City in 2017. Participating in the festival were more than 400 youth union members from the 24 units under the city youth union. The festival featured the theme of praising the party, 
great uncle Ho with the aim of creating a healthy, useful playground to promote the spirit of solidarity at the same time discovering and nurturing the artist's talents for the cultural and artistic movement in the localities. The best performances at the festival will be shown on October the 29th at the park at the western bank of Hong River. That's all for today's news. Please log on to dlt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.